Okay. Now, uh, I finished the whole connection to the charge controller, battery and inverter, so now we can see it. So as you see it here, if I press this one, it says the panel gives a voltage and current to the battery and there is a DC output is connected. So as you see it here, so this is the battery voltage and if I press it again, I will see how much voltage is goes to the load and then I see the load voltage and the load power. So this is a battery. So this is a full, the full system. So this is a battery, this is a panel symbol, positive and negative. This is a battery symbol and having with the positive and negative terminal. And this is the load having the positive and the negative terminal. So we finished the DC loads. Now we can proceed to the AC loads. So as I showed you before on the uh, part two, so I have the inverter terminal negative from the battery and the positive goes to the breaker. So I have, I connect the negative to, I mean the positive terminal. So the positive should be break because we get current from the positive side. So I should have to tighten it so that I can prevent things from damage. So I have the connection here. Then I have the inverter terminal, which is a negative terminal. So I will easily untie it here. I will easily untie it and then connect it. Then I will tie it again. So for the, so I can tie it together. So I just tight it and then I have a positive from the breaker goes to the positive of so be careful those two must not be connected together because uh, so you should have to be careful also not to lose things. So I connect the negative to the negative. Then this goes to the breaker. There must not be any loose connection. So as you see it here, according to the current that you have uh, or the type of load that you have you should have to like uh, calculate the size of the wire uh, we will see how to calculate the size of the wire or how to choose uh, the size of the pv and the battery the inverter and the charge controller on the other uh, sessions so for today i just use a simple ac loads so i can use or i can connect these uh, cables 2.5 cables directly to the inverter but if it is uh, if the load is bigger so you should have to use a bigger uh, size of uh, inverter now I connect the inverter here so I have the breaker and the charge controller and thank you Clay. so now I can proceed to tightening the battery as I showed you, the, the battery must be tight. If there is any loose connection and if there is no protection system in your house, so the lightning will come to the point which is not tight on your system. So you should have tied them together. So now I tied them together. So I have the AC, a DC. That means DC appearance. So now I can remove the materials. Now I can see. So let me start from the uh, DC appearance. As you see it here, the DC lamp goes on. And then we will check uh, 
the AC by using a fan here. Pump. So this is electric blower. So uh, as, it, as you see it here, the ampere is one ampere. That means it's very small and the voltage is 220. So I can directly connect. It's a single phase. So I can directly connect it to the inverter and then turn it on and check check the connections so it's the inverter is on so that the fan is on mm, there is something on the fan okay Okay, let us be careful with it. No, oh, 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 one thing, we just turn the breaker off. So we should turn it off and then the inverter on and then, see? Because if we have a protection, we, we can't uh, turn the inverter on. So we, we have a protection here. If there is a current that damages the inverter, this protects it. So that, that's why we uh, pass through the breaker. So this is how you do the test, uh, uh, the connection for the AC and the DC system. So as you see it here, the blower fan that took AC from the inverter goes on, and the DC that took the source from the charge controller is on, so in this way you can connect the solar home system. So thank you. So the next we will see how to uh, calculate those things. And thank you for the Energy Institute and also Magal University uh, to uh, take this video so that we can use the devices from their lab. So thank you very much.